afternoon, everyone. Ooh, I'm getting tingles from that beautiful Howling Flat 6 of this Porsche 911 GT3R we got going on here. I am uh, Cole McRae. We are joined by Matt Higgs. This is the ESR Tribute to Sabina Schmitz series that we got going on. <clears throat> this is our Sunday in chill, uh, shall we say, placeholder. Eh, it's not really a placeholder, but it is what we have going on here in instead of a uh, like a Sunday and Chill series. As you guys may or may not have known, I, I mean, hope you'd known if you uh, were keeping up with the racing news, but just in case you haven't, we are, uh, this is due to uh, Sabina Schmitz's unfortunate passing away. She was the queen of the Nürburgring. Um, <clears throat> she raced many races here, 24 uh, hour races. Uh, she famously held the lap record for a uh, passenger, for a cargo van not a passenger van, around the, sh the ring. I believe it was 10 minutes, 11 seconds, something like that. Something Couldn't like that. break 10 minutes. <clears throat> that was done on an episode of Top Gear, I believe. But uh, yes, to in tribute of her excellence, uh, we are doing a four race, five, yeah, four race series. I almost uh, messed that up. With, uh, with all at the Norwich July Fest. So one race a week, starting May 2nd. That was when this race aired. With a Porsche 911 GT3R, so their Cup Series, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have a short little series here, just uh, in race room to commemorate an awesome racing legend. How is uh, your day today, Matt Higgs? I understand you just got done with a GT4 race. I did, and you did as well. I did. You're right, but I was attempting to do something. Uh, what I'm not sure. I do appreciate the fact that Josiah is the only one with a different livery. <laughs> I know, I was looking at that game. Like, I was wondering if that was actually true or not, because, I mean... It's not, because we're looking at a guy that has a different livery that's not on Oh, there. you're right. Oh, yeah, you were, yeah, right, right. You're, like, right in the background there, idiot. <laughs> <clears throat> would be kind of funny. It'd be like uh, Santa leading the reindeer or something. <sighs> Noise. Oops, I don't have RTX voice in this computer. <laughs> in any case... Uh, as we prepare for the race, there uh, just a quick once over the rules. <clears throat> you have two two races in each session, 25 minutes each, with um, with a full reverse grid for race two. So carrying a little bit over from the other Sunday and Chill series, you can have a little bit of chaos. There's fuel into wait, okay, so we're at 36, 35, 34, 33 in the garage. Um, but anyway, you have. That was weird. Yeah, I think you click something. But in any case, uh, we have uh, two races back to back with full reverse grid, kind of similar to our uh, other Sunday and Chill series we've had in the past. Fuel and tire wear are in effect. It is only a 25 minute race, and it's one times, so uh, not gonna be huge. But so it's uh, like what two and a half laps? <laughs> uh, something like that. Uh, it's gonna be a fixed setup, so no, uh, no, no changing of that. But these cars are good enough as it is. Josiah Drum on the pole, following, uh -oh. followed by Dennis Johnson and Kerry Arnold. <laughs> he needs to get on his brakes. Maybe a little bit. And we're going, going, going. This race one. Oh, looks like Kerry Arnold in fourth That's place. Not getting a great start. Mauricio Delgado, our Sunday and chill compatriot, makes up well. I believe that is Carvalho who's in the black one. This will be an interesting race, but I don't think we've any, ever done anything in recent memory at the Nordschleife. The Scirocco or the TCR? I think TCR raced here. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah, you're correct. I was just verifying. Yeah, there was a TCR race here. Um, I don't think the Scirocco's did, but it's, uh, it is possible. Let's see if anybody's like going to die on this first lap. Oh yeah, I mean these GD3Rs are very, um, very low aero compared to their regular GD3 counterpart. This is the Cup series, as I mentioned. Oh, so they sound is nice. It fixed setup. Yes, it is fixed setup. That's strange. You can't really hear the straight cut transmission in in race room. You yeah, sometimes you can, but uh, it could just be because these engines are so loud and howly. Um. But of note, there hasn't been a lot of gap emerging. We have a slight one between Carvalho and De Roche and another Tutaka Hidemaroka and Carvalho. But not much other than that. They've been pretty close. 
Jerome's leaving Johnson in the dust. Well, he's only half second up. Maybe a little more than that. If anything, Edmonds is uh, starting oh, to get left by Johnson. It doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning is winning. Hey, that sounds familiar. I believe I said that uh, yeah, in our uh, stream at the GD Challenge as well. Was it? Yeah, dude. Are you stalking me? Richard DeRoche on the inside of one of the oh. millions of curves. Ooh, that was close. And they both go off, but recovered very nicely. But I don't no, know how he cut, slammed the door on that one. That was... That was that was bold on both of their parts. Should we change Richard's pants? Uh, maybe, but uh, I mean, ooh, Carrier and Ode getting pretty squirrely, and I was gonna say I'm kind of surprised they haven't done that already. These cars are very squirrely. I haven't driven these in a long time, um, but they are can be a handful. We'll put it that way. They are actually a little more understeery than their uh, GT3 counterparts, but they the are the lack GT3 of... car. What? Those are the GT3 car. Well, this isn't the GT3 R, which is a cup car. No, no? the GT3 R is the GT3 car. The oh, GT3, my... I'm thinking of the GT3 cup. Oh, uh, my apologies. Oh, we have someone going into oh, an, no. uh, the shadow realm. That's going to be a good sign. I think that's Carvalho. Well, I, I certainly look a fool. I've been calling it the, the cup car this whole time. I thought, ooh, Marisa Legato's turn to get sideways. Speaking of, I think this that's one thing that games aren't or don't model very well is the straight cut transmission of the portraits famously loud. Oh, 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 okay. really? oh no. Oh, oh, oh we got the oh, Shadow Realm Shadow Man. Realm, oh, Shadow oh, Realm. Carvalho channeling the power of the uh, Millennium Rod, it seems. I think that's the reference. Uh, it looks like he's holding on though. He might have scared the pants off of Mr. Martin behind, which uh, I uh, I understand. Martin? It's very very close here. Keep in mind, Martin is third place with a controller. Oh yeah, he is running a controller still, isn't he? I think so. Unless we're totally wrong, then we'll look a fool. No, oh, I think so. that was a close one. Uh, but yes, uh, there's plenty of action going on. So 25 minutes will be near enough four laps of this uh, this famous Norch life. But it is not the VLN layout, as you might have been able to guess. We had a pass going on. Did Dorochi get by? Our node mayhaps actually I don't think so. Did Someone looked the... like they're getting past. Sorry? Oh yeah. No, go ahead. Did you see the tribute that Top Gear did to Sabine? I did not. It's on YouTube. Some people put it on YouTube because I don't have BBC, so Well you're and a smart individual, so why would you I can't be bothered to watch the new Top Gear, I can't stand them. Yeah, likewise. Well they they I mean Matt LeBlanc, Chris Harris, they're they're, they're all right. Matt they LeBlanc don't have to do it anymore. He, he oh, he left. doesn't. It's, it's like two other people and Chris Harris. Oh, well, I don't I, mind the, Chris Harris. I've watched him before. He was top gear. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Chris Harris, but they, he's, he's all right. I mean, they definitely don't Chris have. Chris Evans was worse. Chris Evans. He was the top gear host for like the first like three seasons after the Interesting. original I, left. I didn't know that. Oh, well, he was oh, like oh, one right, of like the oh, five right. hosts. Got it, got it, got it. No, I do, I do remember that. Okay. Oh, yeah, I thought that was more recent. Um, yeah, I mean, they just never had the chemistry. <clears throat> right. And anyway, we should get back to the race. Wait, we're talking like Captain political. America, Chris Evans? No. A different guy by the same name, Chris Evans. Oh, okay. I was just like, I was like, where have I heard that name before? Oh, okay, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Uh -oh, let's yeah, see Richard Dressy is still trying to claw back fifth place from Carrier Node. Looks like the ghost gaps we talked about earlier are showing up. Looks like James Butler joined. Uh, but no, then... Butler was already in it, I think. Well, he was already. I, I, sorry, I meant I, I said that exactly wrong. Uh, he uh, he left. He um, got disconnected, qualified. Unless it added two minutes, which is possible. 
I want to see that side by side behind there. That would be very interesting indeed. Karanode going around, or Richard Roche going around the inside of Karanode, and it looks like he's going to make it happen. That's a very dangerous place to pass, but uh, he had the wherewithal to make it work out, so what well, can I say? What if these guys are fixed set up? They are. Okay. I, I mentioned that a few minutes ago, oh, kind of in passing. But yeah, no, it seems that James Butler has retired. The counter is going up at approximately the same speed as the clock is. So, <clears throat> well, the clock is going down, I should say. Uh-oh. Oh, that was weird. Did you see that? Or is that just me? Uh, I didn't see anything. Although it was like a, it was like it froze, then it skipped ahead. Oh, uh, that could happen sometimes. YouTube do that. YouTube do be that way, though. Yeah, I, I was just uh, thinking about uh, me getting uh, confused with the model of the cars. I forgot these. The, the race room is a little behind on their Porsche, uh, Porsche 911s. This is, I think, the 2018 or 17 car. No, 19, 2019. This is a 2019 car. You can tell by the shape of like the car. <laughs> you, it is that way because because <laughs> of the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> it knows where it is, because it knows where it is. <laughs> it, it, it finds this by subtracting from the where null location is, where, it where it is isn't. from what it isn't, or from it where it isn't from where deviation. it is, whichever, whichever comes first. <laughs> <laughs> the standard deviation. deviation. <laughs> by subtracting where it is from where it isn't, the have you heard the, uh, where it is. <laughs> have you heard the, uh, the, uh, that one rap song that they mixed in with that? Oh no. It's beautiful. It's that classic Dr. Dre song, which I forget. Still DRE. Is that is that the one? Do, 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 yeah, yeah, that do, one. Yeah, do, yeah. Do, 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 yep. Yeah. <laughs> it it actually kind of slaps a little bit. I'll have to I'll have to send it to you later. For sure. Uh, <clears throat> and it looks like Carvalho might have also retired. Oh no. He's down by a substantial margin. Well, Richard is closing <clears throat> on Mauricio. He's only like half a second behind, so uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh, poor Carrie. James Butler down one lap after lap one, so that's uh, not a good sign generally. Especially not around this lap. <clears throat> oh, oh Carrie getting Carey. really wide. That was a nice little slide recovery there. I'm surprised that happened. That was, I thought Raystrom just pulled you into the wall. No, that's, uh, that's ACC, I think. Well, that's... That's the kink at Laguna Seca, regardless of the sim you're in or Fair. game, whatever. That is, that is indeed. I have the a truth. love hate relationship with that corner. I have a I have a love love relationship with that corner. I freaking I love every corner of Laguna Seca. There's no uh, there's no hiding it. I am interested why almost every car is showing up as the same livery. Or why every car is showing up as the same livery. But, I uh, think it's they're similar liveries because one the Gran Turismo ones from like the, the 24-hour Nurburgring and then that the Decra one is from the GT Masters. Hmm, that makes sense. I think it's up to the user. It is indeed. Uh, so there's no. Uh, while there are plenty of cars in this uh, lineup. I'm not sure there are 10, so there's going to be livery overlap because this game doesn't have custom liveries. But I am kind of curious that most people chose the same. Do you think that was uh, planned? I think they wanted to, and then others just didn't really care. Maybe they were a little quick to decide, or maybe they wanted to try something different. Who knows? It's certainly possible. Richard Roche not letting Mauricio Delgado go. It looks like Carrera Note has fallen continuously after being passed by the Canadian, Mr. Richard. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, like you said, Mauricio is also catching Martin a ahead. Josiah is checked out, and more or less so as David or Dennis Johnson. But we are starting to see a battle for third heat up. And the best part is you cannot tell who is who. <laughs> They're all the same color. Well, especially the back two who have the same even window plate and number. 
It's gonna be a good little battle here at the end of this lap. Well, it's heated up pretty good already. Looks like Martin in eighth is a retiring as well, potentially. Oh no! So they're dropping like flies out here, which is unfortunate. It is our Sunday and chill series, more or less. It's not the exact. It's not exactly a Sunday chill series, but it serves a similar purpose. At least it's in still the short. a chill series. Yeah. So. But it does give people some leeway with leaving. We still try to encourage not leaving in the middle of a race. It can affect the driver, other driver's experience. Uh, it can it can hang up. Uh, it can cause little lag spikes and, and things like that. Does that um, happen with race room or is it just ACC? It does happen with race room. And interestingly, those appear to be the only two that affect are affected quite so severely. I've seen it happen in RF2. I've seen it happen in RF2 as well. Maybe it's but, just something games can't avoid. Well, there is some synchronizing that probably has to be done. Looks Whoa, like Mar oh, oh, Richard, Richard. Rossi. Whoa, and looks like our node behind also got squirrely. I wonder if that was uh, a chain reaction. I was just going to mention that Martin Edmonds looked like he was getting pretty... Or I guess as Mauricio Delgado was getting pretty unsteady. And then right as that happened, Richard Roche, ditto. And then ditto again to uh, carry our node behind. I guess ditto, ditto. Double ditto. And now begins the long back straight where... Martin Emmons desperately tries to break the draft from Riso Delgado, which is just not going to happen. There's just too much room. All right, Martin, get that draft. Well, the Nordschleife is very interesting. Whoa! That's some oh, blocking I was holding my breath because that was a really interesting pass attempt. <clears throat> but he made it work. Riso Delgado into third place. Oh, Martin Emmons getting on the curb and getting sideways, but recovering it pretty nicely. Uh, but in any case, Norwich Life is interesting just because it's, in a way, not very many ways, but in a way it's similar to a Tilkadrome, just in uh, orientation. So it's a lot of pretty serious no-passing zones, punctuated by some pretty epic passing zones. Well, hang, hang on a second. Did you just call the Nürburgring a Tilkadrome? No, I didn't. I said it has some similarities, as one similarity. To a, to very, a very small similarity. Yeah. I don't see mile-long runoffs in every single corner. <clears throat> no, you're not wrong. No, you're not wrong. And that's why I was very careful to say, Oh, Whoa, no! Marisa Delgado oh. getting squirrely on whatever turn that is. There's damage, right? Hundreds of turns. Yep. Full mechanical damage. Ooh. And the Nordschleife uh, hit is extremely short in this layout. But with only a 25-minute race, you still don't want to be taking any of that time to... To commit repairs or anything like that. <clears throat> so now it'll be up to Richard DeRoche to maybe catch Mauricio Legato. We'll, we'll, we will have to see. Oh my god, man, I just found a beautiful picture. Uh, it should go under r slash uh, cursed images. I'll send it to you right now. Oh, hell no. Uh, oh, hell name? no. I don't know my name. Here you go. Oh. In any case. Oh. <laughs> we hear Matt Matt Higgs's soul leaving his body. Why? <laughs> uh, the picture in question, in case the audience members are wondering, it is a. I'll throw it up here right now. Um. It is a Honda S2000 with a uh, the front of a Kia Telluride SUV photoshopped looks, onto it. It looks like that Cadillac Corvette thing. The XLR? Yeah, the XLR Cadillac. It looks exactly like it. Yeah, I can I can I can kind of see that. It's like a like a baby XLR. It looks a little bit shall we say mentally stunted. The eyes are so far apart. <laughs> it's like <laughs> That's my guilty pleasure recently, is just uh, cursed uh, cursed car nose swaps. Some of them are good, not very many though. Meanwhile, the battle for fourth is rapidly heating up as the stricken car of Mauricio Delgado has been caught up by Richard DeRoche. Yep, that's the one, Matt. 
and uh, Carrier Note is right behind, but they're in the middle of one of these no passing zones. They're coming up to one, the passing zone that is, but it is probably the hardest in the track. We will have to see. So this is where it tentatively starts. It widens up a little bit in a second. The question is, how long does Richard want to wait? Not very long is the answer. Shoving Mauricio wide. Not shoving, but, you know, nudging him a little bit. Using his they're body still, language. They're still side by side. Oh, oh it looks like... Was that Mauricio off? No, that was Richard. No, that's Richard, so... Did and he we, lost the spot to Did they come together, or well. did they just make mistakes? I might have been just uh, the nature of being too wide through that long of a, a, a pretty tumultuous section of the Norwich Live. That's oh, why I was saying mistakes were made. That's why I was saying it's hard. We see Kerry Arnold getting a little using all the track. But um, that's why I was saying this is one of the harder overtaking sections, just because it's very bumpy, very camber, both on and off camber in areas. And uh, it's not, I mean, in spite of being one of the wider sections of this track, it's not that wide. Never going wide? No. Yeah, right? When they come through the carousel without issue. It's been so long since I've driven any sort of GT car on the Nordschleife uh, in a game that is, of course, you know, I've never driven anything. You can on hear Nordschleife. me fine, right? What? You can hear me fine, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, whoa! Kerry Arno gets a little sideways. Looks like he's got to got to do a little shake it off Taylor Swift style. Uh, but anyway, I more recently I've just been driving. Uh, I set up little like personal track days in a set of course, uh, the regular one, not competizione. Kerry Arno goes wide again. Whoa. Richard Rosche touches his batuti, and looks like that's enough to shove Kerry wide again, giving Whoa, Richard sure. the pass. A little... Whoa. And Kerry Arnaud struggling to get his footing back. A very rocky sector for him, for sure. And meanwhile, in the distance there, Mauricio Delgado is making some tracks. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying again, the, uh, instead of course, uh, the regular one, just doing some, you know, AI track days, which is a bunch of street cars. And I gotta say, the freaking carousel. Oh, Kerry. Come on, man. You gotta, you gotta cool it a little bit. Uh, but the carousel, I really struggle getting streetcars around that. More often than not, I find myself taking the outside road just because it's smoother. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, you a little bitch. Go ahead, go ahead and fight me, Matt. I take the inside of the carousel. Yeah? You're a bitch, too. No, bitches take the outside. Does who? Normal scene, especially Sabine. Well, sadly, we don't get to know that for sure. Oh, she, it's for sure. I'll let you go ahead and find that quote where Sabina calls people who take the outside of the carousel a bitch. Tribute to Sabine. <laughs> anyway, our battles are a little bit dissolving. We have multiple seconds between all the cars on the grid currently. Mauricio Delgado, I had I had pegged it that Mauricio was going to have troubles, but that battle between Arnaud and De Rocher behind him has caused enough of a rift that he's kind of gone away, a little kind of scot free. We'll have to see if that stricken 911 can hold off the other non or less stricken, I should say. There. I am the Senate, but Palpatine is Wallace. Oh, ah. I see. But uh, anyway, through this more tight, twisty section, we'll have to see if Reese Delgado can hold on with that stricken. Ow, what have you sent me, hurt Matt? Again. Your eyes hurt? My left eye hurts. Maybe it knows that uh, Sabina Schmitz never really called anyone a bitch for taking the outside of the carousel. The same. Anyway, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Our note actually appears to be catching up very so slightly up with the Roche. Not much, but uh, we still have one Richard lap left. probably has some damage. It's definitely possible. And in a lap this long, the white flag can be waving for what feels like hours. I feel bad for the guy at the starter stand who waves the flags. Do you think they, do you think they, had, they go in shifts? 
per lap. Yeah, they just keep waving it and then they sort of do like a relay race. So remember when um, IndyCar, or is it NASCAR? I think it's NASCAR, did a, uh, they did some, uh, when COVID, the pandemic was going, they hit, uh, or they, they did a couple of iRacing races and uh, the the flaggers, like the, the checkered flag waving guy in the game, his animations are pretty sucky. And like he basically, he was just like, beating the flag against like a, a, a stick or something <laughs> and that's what it looked like <laughs> and uh, when they when they did their first uh, real race again in a while the flagger like emulated that style and it looked like he was breaking his wrist but props <laughs> for the effort it was freaking hilarious I, d I, d I missed that I didn't watch it. imagine Master. imagine doing that for the length of the Lord Norwich life how many how many bones do you think you dislocate I feel bad joints? for the blue flaggers at Nürburgring yeah <laughs> right Whoa, during the N24 Continuing the uh, continuing the trend of going wide, he wants that position back. You can tell he's got another three tenths of a second out in the last sector, but he might have to cool it. He's got plenty of time left, and Richard Roche appears to be slipping just the slightest bit. I don't know. These three seem to come to come together slightly. It seems like it. Especially with that damage Mauricio has. That wasn't the checkered flag in that NASCAR thing. It was the, uh, it was the uh, green flag. But uh, <laughs> it is still pretty funny. Here I'll send. I, I found a kind of a link I'll send to you. Where is my fucking food? What? Nothing. Nothing at all. You're doing great. There it is. Sorry for that extended gap, I was trying to send this video to Matt. And I was trying to reach my candy. <laughs> <laughs> what a man, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what a man. ESR's <laughs> finest. <laughs> Getting my candy jar. But as I look back, it seems Carrier Note has not... He's lost actually quite a bit of time to Derosha Head. So... That last sector must have been a doozy, and I must, I gotta theorize that it probably has something to do with the corner right before this long section. That is a doozy, a double stage, decreasing radius right-hander with very nebulous braking markers. Oh, I hate the decreasing radius one. I always confuse it with like the section before it. Exactly. It can get very confusing. And DeRoche, meanwhile, actually might have been DeRoche with a great sector because he's caught up pretty well to Mauricio Delgado ahead. He's still have about a, two, a third of a lap, I would say. And so he's only going to make up a second. And we theorized that Delgado's car was a little stricken, but it, it seemed like in the last lap so far that it wasn't that stricken. Now maybe it is. Maybe it's just the arrow taking effect in these higher speed corners that are really killing him. I guess we'll have to see. This is clearly a battle to watch. <laughs> hey, just watch that flag mount video again. <laughs> that's, that's, that's some dedication right there. <laughs> uh. So they're coming down to the final section. It's now that I wish I uh, knew the turn names uh, at the end of the Norch Life a little better. Hey, you know what? We got Wikipedia. That is the step. No, no, not there. That's Plants Garden. Th that's, is that the Bell Off S's? No, coming they're coming up, up to just the Bell Off S's right here. Yeah. That was Plants Garden. Bless you. That's the step in Bell Off S's right there. According to Wikipedia, it's called Sprunghugel and Plants Garden. Now they're at Schwabenschwanz. Schwabenschwanz. Yes, now they're at character. Kleines Karostel. And now they're at Krankenwagen. Sorry, not some meme. Krankenwagen. I love, I love this corner. It's called Gagenkopf. That's a Dutton, huh? This is, yeah, this is Dottinger Who. 
About to get a hoe. You're a hoe. Oh, yeah, you. Oh, thanks, babe. So, Richard DeRoche, this might be his chance on Oh, he's closing. Ho. He is going to make... I just noticed Scott Nick wasn't in this race. What the heck? Oh, wait, no, he said he couldn't be in this race. Never mind, that's right. Oh, there he goes. Bouncing off the rev, rev, rev limiter, 9,000 RPMs. Mauricio Delgado is going to not let him have it, though. It might be inevitable. What the? We'll have to see. What? Oh. Richard was behind him, then he like sort of appeared in front of him, and I was like, what the hell? No, this is a camera switch. The cars are identical, so it kind of looks weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. And that's it. Richard DeRoche with a very well-planned maneuver against Mauricio Legato. Taking fourth place back. Very nice. That's Takahide Maroka. One underrated feature that the race team director has that I really wish that the ACC one had would, was this uh, this going back as uh, cars as cars finish. So you notice that Richard Dureshe finished, then it moved to Mauricio, then it moved to Kerry, now it's at Takahide. Yeah. It's a nice maybe. way to get a grip on where the field is uh, on the last lap, at least. Uh, maybe it could help if you're doing, like, the auto director. Or not the auto director, the manual director, where you can, like, do shift left and right, because now you can go down the field like that. Oh, you know, that is a good idea. I like that. That No, that's, that's a good point. Oh, that's a cool camera. I do like the camera. I like the little camera shake they get going. Looks like Takahita had some damage in his car as well. I suppose it makes sense with being a, a not insignificant distance behind. He's coming on the final corner. And across the line. Whoa! Whoa going blasting off James Butler! Going out of fuel up here alone. Rocket man. Okay, well that was an adventure. Did your side First... not get a... <laughs> How did your side not get a lap? It did he not have a clean lap? Side. There were like four laps. It's perfectly possible he didn't have a clean one. Meanwhile, this is a they're using the ADAC GT I'm Master the skin on the on the interface. Oh, like a legend cars. So you got Josiah Jerome, Dennis Johnson, Martin Emmons, Richard Dorosha, Mauricio Legato, Kerry Arno, oh, Taki so Maroka, Martin Carvalho, done. and Butler. Please continue. Me. I'm burning through the sky, yeah. 200 degrees is why they come in with the Fahrenheit. <laughs> is, Sorry, this, is, is, is this really a, a, a meme remix of, uh, uh, freaking, look at that Queen song, what's it called? No, it was just a straight word for word based on James Butler's car going to the moon. Oh, nice. Well, it's not a bad... It's not unapplicable. I mean, I was gonna going for Elton John's Rocket Man, but this works too. Maybe I should have played the uh, the Interstellar theme by Hans Zimmer. And so race two, and green flags going. Looks wow, like some people hell? got a bad start. Martin Edmonds with a rocket of a start, passing three people. Oh no! What's going on here? Whoa! Whoa! whoa it's complete pandemonium. There are cars everywhere. I don't know which. I don't know who's who, but I'll take it. Martin, Martin, you don't need to. Martin Edmonds loses a spot that he had just gotten. Still ends up pretty good though. Fourth out of seven. Uh, what's it called? So it is just I, uh, Dennis Johnson. And does that drum are really the only, the only two ones we can uh, keep track of right now. Actually, I don't even think we can keep track of Dennis Johnson. I was thinking of Carvalho, but Carvalho appears to have left. James Butler as well. So the unfortunate part about... Whoa! Just that drum closing the door on our... On our... Uh, matriarch. Controller equipped matriarch. <laughs> Martin Edmonds. <laughs> Martin, are you going to take that? I think Matt needs a, a stern whipping. He didn't say no, so you know what that means. <laughs> yeah, well, Martin doesn't answer for me. But in... What you watching, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> I see you're watching the flag guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll, have that, we'll have that link in the description. Oh, God. Uh, if, in case you haven't seen it, it's beautiful. <laughs> That guy has to have hurt, hurt his arm doing that. I just gotta, oh, 100%. I gotta definitely. Say. <laughs> Ow. 
Uh, but in the in the kerfuffle at the beginning, Carrier Note finds himself in first place. Run, uh, Terry! Shabby. Run! Run, run like go the on, there's son! A, there's a lot of screaming flat sixes behind him, though. As the sun sets, look at that, that interesting uh, color palette. What? I just thought Car I thought Carrie was drifting there. Oh yeah, it's certainly possible. Carrie is, at least in this series, he's proven to have no chill. He is uh, he's gonna hit every apex and go as wide as possible. It's, so far, it hasn't been him too hard. A little bit, mayhaps, but not too much. There is our only identifiable car, Josiah Jerome. See, if you think about it, it's a really genius move on Josiah's part because. By making himself the only identifiable car, we're the only one that can com You can only commentate on him. Exactly. He did this on purpose. It was, it was a really a 400 IQ move right there. Fuck that, 600. 550, final offer. So, Richard DeRoche has caught up to Carinode and is waiting for his time to pass. Ditto for Josiah Jerome to Mauricio Legato. They're coming up to this long middle section. Tonk. Tonk. Oh, so, there is so many. They're so quick. I, I'm, I'm told it's called Kesselchen. I'll take your word for it, because I... Oh, and then sure enough, Richard yeah. DeRoche making the move on Mauricio Legato. Looks like ditto for Edmonds, no, J Johnson on Edmonds behind. So we didn't see that coming exactly. They're still side by side. Maurice, De or, uh, DeRoche gets it done. Looks like Edmonds as well. That's the thing about these fixed setups on identical cars. You know, it's all coming down to strategy and driving, really. Whoa, Whoa, that's a wow. lot, that's a lot of cars. That's a lot of flat It courses. looks like there's a graphical bug, honestly. And just uh, uh oh, someone's oh, flying. Oh, that's Carrier Node, our first that place driver. Evans? No, that's. It looks like he got shunted props by Edmonds, perhaps. I mean, again, all our cars are the same. You know, I, I, I kind of see where Mike, Mike uh, is coming from when he complains about people choosing identical liveries. I mean, he hasn't done that a lot, but, uh, you know, for um, some reason, Dennis Johnson going slightly. It's, it's like, easier to identify them if they're in different liveries. You know, I can't put my finger on it, but I, I just think it might be easier to identify the cars if uh, the cars were, oh, what's the word? Uh, hmm, different. <laughs> no, that make it hard. <laughs> So, you know, we're, we're, we're all in this together. Maybe we should enforce a, a two-drink minimum here, too, like we should be doing for breakfast. But Josiah yes, Jerome slowly climbing his way up the field. So Josiah started at the back of the field, so he's making tremendous pace. Just, well, he had a move on Marisa Delgado, but that was a particularly ill-advised maneuver just because of the timing of it. Still got three laps, after all. At least. Actually, that's probably not true. But between two and four laps, we'll say that. Yeah, I'd say it's at least a lap, for sure. Whoa, these shadows are whack. Yeah, there's something going on there. Not sure what that was about. Just imagine the carnage if if Nurburgring is an ACC. It'd be beautiful. Turn one, every turn. Mike would have a stroke. Oh, for sure. Josiah Jerome getting the nice sneaky pass, but he's doing it early. So he got past Mauricio Delgado, but Mauricio still has the entirety of the straight. Or, or probably to draft two thirds of, of it to draft off him and get it back. They are about at top speed though. Like I said, the the 911 GT3 is not the most aero heavy car ever. Dennis Johnson is bouncing off the limiter. I think the limiter is 9300 RPMs, so that sounds about right. 
Ooh, that was a nice kind of transition there. Don't think that was intentional, but it worked out. And yeah, Josiah Jerome held off Mauricio Delgado. The, what I thought was an 80 IQ move ended up being an 800 IQ move. Oh, Dennis Johnson with a hard dive under Mauricio Delgado in turn one. That was fantastic. Oh, it's beautiful. Just the Punisher. Mauricio made a mistake, stepped out. Time to bring the pain. Does Dennis Oh, Johnson. yeah. Uh. So Karanode with a prolific Icarian fall from grace from first to sixth. He's out of the well out of the draft of Martin Edmonds, although as we said before, Edmonds is using controllers, so it's possible that Carry, if he's using a wheel, could get a lot of that time back. So got a couple of laps. Meanwhile, Richard DeRoche is now gaining a, a nice chunky lead. Uh-oh, maybe it looks like... Oh, Dennis Richard... Johnson got by Mauricio Delgado, it seems. Yeah, Richard Josiah is closing on Richard, so maybe they can slow each other down and then we can get a three-way fight for the lead. It's not impossible. I do love a good three-way, after all. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Where is this too much fun? <laughs> I think it's just the perfect amount of fun. No, it's so much fun. It should be criminal. But... You're not wrong. But Josiah Jerome is still slowly but surely catching Richard DeRoche. The one kind of cool thing, or one of the cool things, we haven't run a single track series in a long time. That's one... That was one thing that I was actually thinking about recently that we should do. Because uh, we did do one with uh, the the uh, Bilsterberg track. Um, Bilsterberg, NSU. A, a couple of years ago. We, there were NSUs. We ran Aquilas, GT3s. We ran GT1s, I believe, as well. Uh, it was I fantastic. think they should just do NSUs. Just all. They should just stick to NSUs. <laughs> they should make I, an NSU I, GT3. I, I think you suggested that before, and that sounds no less terrifying today as it did back then. Uh, but I'm in support. Uh, I am also very much in support of bringing SU Cup back. That was so much fun, and we haven't done it in so long. I mean, people have to vote for it, so sadly, it was, it it's was not Tuesday up to me. night, wasn't it? Yeah. I probably wouldn't be able to do that as my dad has a league race for I racing on West yeah, on Tuesday nights. So Josiah Jerome has reached that tipping point. He's now within striking distance of Richard Roche, and looks like he's going to force the issue? No, he's got left-hander. Well, they're he can go they're the just outside. short of a passing zone, that middle one that I mentioned earlier. Oh, looks like Josiah went yeah. on the outside. Looks like he made it happen. So this could be, however, this could be an interesting timing, because DeRoshi has some time to make the pass back. Or, or failing that, he could at least line up the pass for uh, the next turn, or the next uh, straight section, to do what Josiah did to him in the last one. Okay, so he's right there, little contact, he's not letting up, but he's not making a pass. Oh, it was Maybe forced the Josiah pass. a little wide, this might be Richard after Richard's opportunity to get it back. Do we think, what do you think, Matt Higgs? I think he's going to try to force a move into the carousel, being a good, good run out of this corner here. No, you didn't. Yeah. That is, in my opinion, that is one of the trickier corners on the whole track. Uh, the one right before the carousel. Yeah. It's just, just it, it's kind of a weird zone. Uh, much like that decreasing radius double right-hander uh, we mentioned earlier. It's kind of deceptive, especially coming off of the super long, uh, relatively straight section. Meanwhile, we're seeing our. There. Sorry, go ahead. No, it's, I think meanwhile we're seeing our uh, battles kind of dissolve a little bit again. Richard Dereshe, Josiah Jerome, and but Dennis Johnson is creeping up slightly behind. It's not unforeseeable that we could see a pretty sizable battle emerge here between Johnson and Derushi, and potentially Jerome as well. If this battle, oh, yeah, if, if this the the cut. If I remember correctly, the 
cut off for a really good strong draft is about a second and a half. So if, if Richard can hold on <clears throat> to the tail end with Josiah, that could still got a whole like two sectors to go. One well, well, sector, sector two. Two. yeah. One, if you, if you like, uh, I'd call like a third. I know for the Nurburgring twenty-four hour, they give like they get the whole track like ten sectors. <clears throat> Yikes. Yeah, that that is a fault of race room. Every track has three sectors, including the uh, twenty kilometer or whatever long. Nordschleife. <laughs> Whack. See, just, uh, just say I make a mistake. I want to see him actually. <clears throat> so if Richard is able to hold on to Josiah, we're at the mini carousel now. Oh yeah, he's right there. He actually gained a ton of time, so it is perfectly possible that DeRoche could be in Jerome's trail or tail, and Johnson is definitely in DeRoche's tail. So we could see this get really hairy. Wow, Johnson got a great run through the the uh, final corner before uh, Dunning. Oh, he's on. already almost there. Gets, yeah, yeah, he yeah, likes the bump draft. draft. <clears throat> Dennis says, let's go. The only way we can take on Josiah is together. What friendship. This is what I'm wanting to see here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. <laughs> it is oh, a that's train. Great. It's a wonderful. That's a great camera angle. This is a wonderful train of destruction. Josiah is flashing his headlights in, ag in agony. He's like, what? You can't do that. That's cheating. <laughs> beautiful. I call that it beautiful. Was great. That was wonderful. <laughs> wow, that's the move of the century right there. I love it. <laughs> that is big brain. <laughs> that is that is 8,000 IQ here. We're, we're, the numbers are only going up. What a move. So now Josiah is going to have to put moves on both Johnson and DeRosha, but probably Johnson is going to want to make moves on DeRosha as well. That could be a 20,000 IQ move from Johnson because he could be setting up a pass on DeRosha himself. As we've seen, getting a run into the final straight is not hard. Especially with his identically set up cars. And he's got the whole <laughs> north side to defend now. Oh, Duresha got kind of tweaked and so did Johnson. Maybe Josiah might have an opportunity back. Uh oh, he looks like he's got to move. <clears throat> it's going to make it happen through Schradenkreutz. That's the fleet plants here. Wee. Wow! Oh wow! I thought oh, I thought he was gonna delay it. That was a beautiful pass, a dangerous one, but beautiful. Desire drum proves proves that he's a force to be reckoned with. And his old advanced age. So I'm kidding. He's young. <laughs> so maybe Dennis Johnson will have that short and Kreutz pass. No. Nope. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. What the hell? Oh! It it got tan it's in here all billboard. of a sudden. <laughs> oh, I love this billboard. <laughs> that is great oh, the, camera the, angle. Oh, the texture. <laughs> Who put the camera behind the billboard? Uh, right. I'm guessing it's race room. Stonks. So Josiah is still hunted down by Dennis, and this might have been an 80,000 IQ move from Dennis, but DeRoche is the one who ends up uh, out front, and Johnson is having to pick up the pieces after Josiah makes an epic, epic run into fluke plots. <clears throat> so they came out of Foxhole without much change. Now they're running into Versiphon. Looks like Josiah's having a little bit of that unsteadiness, but he's not losing any ground to Richard ahead. Looks like Johnson is <clears throat> right there. All he has to do is hold on and not make any mistakes. Well, we are again coming up to uh, Bergwerk and the uh, Kessel. Oh, no, is that Taka? Takahide Maroka. That looks like the section right after Foxhole. Yeah, that is the section right after Foxhole. Is this map me? tells me. Oh no, Richard! Something happened to Richard. Yeah, Richard. Ah, the camera switched just at the wrong time. Looks like Richard went off. <clears throat> I will bet you a dollar that that was at that that was at the uh, the little hairpin, which is called Ver Siphon. Could be it's a tricky corner. Although he he still has an opportunity. So he's only eight tenths down, and in a one fell swoop, Josiah Jerome takes back 
the lead that he had been robbed of by the epic bump draft combo of Johnson and DeRoche. I don't know, guys. Even if you don't win, that I, isn't that that you guys are MVP in my book because of that move. That was beautiful. Oh, for sure. Do you think I there was any move. coordination in the voice chat on their part? Like, maybe, maybe a little. I'm gonna give you a bump draft. Let's go, take him on. Hey, I'm gonna stick my nose in your ass. Wait, what? 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 Okay, I'm down. <laughs> all right yeah. all right i'm good it's a little late but you know i'm down <laughs> yeah sure i we can got, make time my schedule we got a little dust cloud coming up and this might be from johnson it looks like he lost a smidgen of time now derosh is in the unenviable position of trailing yeah Although he's, he's... he's got to be careful if he doesn't catch up a little bit soon he's gonna be Hung out Martin's to dry. Like, oh, no. I was just looking at Martin, and I, I completely skipped over Delgado and the timing thing. I looked up, oh, he's only 1.1 seconds. I'm like, wait. Oh, it's Delgado there, too. That is Probably true. Had, like, a four-way. Noteworthy. Mm, uh, noteworthy. Edmonds is right behind Delgado as well, so it's not inconceivable that we can we could see a uh, <laughs> we could see a pass in his near future as well. Uh, looks like Derochi. That's a scary corner. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the way these cars are modeled in in racing, but it just looks like every time they go through the corner, they're sliding. I mean, eh, I think they might just be sliding. <laughs> the rear engine Porsche and Nordschleife uh, are uh, an interesting combo. Wait, let me remind me. Was it the GT? Oh, oh, was that Taka? Carrier node. Oh. I think it's carrier node. That could give Taka yeah, Maroka could, could a be chance carry. that he's been looking for. Richard's sure only uh D Johnson is one point two seconds behind, so maybe he might. Well, I mean, it's pretty guaranteed that they're going to get another lap, though. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> So it would be interesting to see how they plan this out, if they even planned out the first one to begin with. Because let's be honest, I'm not sure at this point. Hopefully Johnson can keep uh, that short gap to Jerome. Well, they've only got one corner left before the straight when it'll come into effect. And apparently Richard DeRoche might be lining up to do to give uh, repay the favor to Johnson, who he, although he goes over those curbs and almost loses it a little bit. Large Life, it does have some pretty brutal curbing. So here we go. Looks like Jerome bottled the last turn a little bit. He did. He lost about two tenths. And we can see that uh, that that sucking force known as the slipstream just sucking them off. I mean, along. And <laughs> yep, as we said before, Edmonds by Delgado. Why? I thought those the other guys. Go back to the other <laughs> camera. <laughs> so DeRoche might have a move on Johnson as well. Like, we don't get to see it, but... Oh, Jerome. Oh. Dirty got by Jerome. Mm-hmm. I, I saw that, but didn't notice. I didn't mention it, so oops. It'd be great to... It would have been great to see that, I see. Oh. It seems like a whoa! Josiah Jim with another pass in turn one. This seems like an exact replay of last race, except for with uh, Johnson taking the place of DeRoche. Can we just stick with this battle? I'm fine with this. It's. It seems like no game can get the director tool quite perfect. It seems like they always switch off when the battle is reaching its. Seems like a. Spiciest. Is that like just a race room thing? So I know the director in race room is famous for that. Yeah, it is. It's very true. But also, I I feel like we've had n a number of times in ACC where the same thing happens. Or like, oh, yep, we don't get to see that. Is I with a flashy flashy. Josiah is really quick through this section here. Yeah, coming up to or just past Flugplatz, going into Schwedenkreuz. Flashing lights again. Uh-oh, something hatched happened to Richard. Yeah, two He's and a half two seconds massive. down. It's totally possible he got struck out by Flugplatz. That is totally possible. Preparing for a foxhole. Whoa. Dennis Johnson gets a little tippity-tap from Josiah Jerome. 
Doesn't result in anything, though. Bummer. <laughs> Although it's clear he's planning something. He's setting up. There are no more gaps in this field. So unless the five from Jerome and Johnson get allow DeRoche to catch back up, which it actually might. He's gotten six tenths in the... Nope, just kidding. It was a glitch. Still got three tenths, though. So it's cool, not Why you gotta excite me like that? I always love exciting you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. But DeRoche, so unless this battle causes Jerome and or Johnson to uh, fall back by a not insignificant margin, it's going to be hard for DeRoche to catch back up. Whoa, and as I say that, Dennis Johnson hits a curb and gets sent for a nasty little slide, but recovers it nicely. And, well done, and as that happens, Josiah Jerome dips two off. This is Versiphon here. No problems. Gap is not increasing nor decreasing to DeRoche. Oh, oh that... and that's Martin Edmonds. Oh, no, Martino. Martin with a slide. Is that going to give... That was a pretty perfect slide, although he lost his front bonnet. And his bumper's a little off, so he must have a lot of arrow damage. Maybe some, some Doesn't look great. That was, a nice, that was a nice little pirouette, though. Yeah, here goes... Oh, no. I thought Richard was closer. He looked it. Whoa, just I drove getting... He's in a breaking, going sliding. Nice spin recovery. But... As I predicted, or as I was wondering, that might put DeRoche within the toe distance. Uh, uh, it's, it's pretty far. Looks like DeRoche also lost some time. It's really unfortunate. If he could have held on just a little bit longer, it's definitely possible that he could have stayed on and uh, not been uh, flummoxed in this way. Flummoxed. That's a word. Uh huh. Sure it is. You can't fool me. Damn it! You're right. I can't get anything past you, eh? Oh man, you're so smart, Matt Higgs. <laughs> and yeah, Richard Rush is struggling to gain any time on uh, on Josiah Jerome. Oh, Dennis Johnson oh, goes sliding! Dennis, no! No, right after the... That is a danger spot right after the carousel. The exit of the carousel can be dastardly, and that slowed Josiah Jerome down enough that Richard DeRoshi gets passed. Oh, What a maneuver. Johnson. Carrie, you good? Poor Dennis Johnson. Karen, <laughs> looks like he's sliding. Whoa! Whoa, and Dennis Johnson gets sliding as well! What a nightmare! And it looks it looks like Josiah Drew might have caused that because he think he slowed down to let him. I by. think he waited up for him. Meanwhile, looking back at the field, Mauricio Delgado is caught up to Martin Emmons such that a pass is not just uh, foreseeable. But uh oh, what happened to Deroche again? Looks like he just went off on his own accord. What is going on here, ladies and gentlemen? It's absolute pandemonium. Looks like he That's oversteered carnage. it and ended up in the wall. We might end up being in a position that Delgado gets it by Edmonds, but DeRoche is unable to take back from Jerome just because of... The accident? Well, just, yeah, just well, just because of uh, poor timing. Oh, fuck me. And because Josiah Jerome exercised the, uh, the mantra of many a successful racing driver, you got to get home in order to win. In order to finish, you have to finish. Uh-oh. Here I know it's spinning yet again. Looks like his uh, offs are starting to catch up with him. Here's Mauricio Delgado versus Martin Edmonds. Mauricio is getting pretty racy. If he's wise, he will pull out. He will wait on this pass until That's the final racist. stretch. Nice. <laughs> Of note that that stricken Porsche ahead of Martin Edmonds. Ooh, it gets a little bit slidey after the, the mini uh, carousel. And I called that because I can't remember the name and I closed my Wikipedia window earlier. But Marisa De, or, uh, Martin Edmonds' car is very stricken, so it's going to be even more of a disadvantage on the straight than they would normally be.
So here we are on the final straight. Where's Delgado? He's not able to make the move. What happened to Martin Emmons? Where did he get all this pace from? It looks like Mauricio's going to have a move. It's that weight reduction. Yeah. Those carbon fiber panels are pretty heavy. We're going to watch Kara Nod versus Takahide Maroka, I guess. Although Takahide has gained time and passed our node. Mauricio Delgado forces Martin Emmons off, it looks like. And that's going to be it. Unless Delgado fucks his last corner up, which it doesn't look like he has. That's going to be it. A little victory wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, it's horrendous. What a last, uh, lot of last sector. Man, it's a shame it wasn't a little cleaner, but it still ended up with quite some action. Man, I, I'll be honest. I really wanted Johnson to win out of, out of the in the last second there after that epic bump draft situation that was happening. Oh, that would have that would been great. I would like that. I, I don't I don't care what happens, you guys. You guys are my MVP. What a fantastic strategy. <laughs> Perfect. Sabina would be proud. If I remember correctly, she did. I believe Top Gear did a. Germany versus England episode where yep. Sabina Schmitz was in a double decker car and racing against uh, the, the Boffins. Yep, that they did that. And they also did a DBRS nine versus a Porsche nine nine seven GT three R at Zolder. Yeah, when they were when they were trying to uh, convince them that the, the Stig wasn't racing it. Yeah, the Stig was James. Meanwhile, Karanode is uh, held up by Takuya to Maroka into the last corner, and that's Karen a nice little no. finish there. Oh, whoa! Marisa Delgado decides Shadow he's Rose. had enough. He's returning to the Mole Kingdom. There he goes. Dive, dive, dive! Aruga, Aruga! Can we just get a sound effect instead of your horrible acting? We can. <laughs> I'm sure we there's one somewhere. Anyway, there we are. It's race two of. Sector of uh, round one, Josiah Jerome emerging victorious yet again. Richard DeRoche following him in second, Dennis Johnson third, Mauricio Delgado fourth, Martin Edmonds fifth, followed by Takahita Maroka and Kerry Arnaud rounding at the top ten <laughs> definition. All right, Matt. You, okay, all right, later, dude. Seriously, we got to finish this contract oh, first. Holy crap. <laughs> But that is our round one. I'm excited. That was a great thing. And here's the back of that billboard again. Uh, oh, but yes, nice. that was exciting. I can't wait for round two, which I just closed like an idiot. You idiot. This is why we don't get the good series. Oh, ha. I, I fooled you. I didn't. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Um, it's actually. Ghani's on to our cups. So one of the more unique cars in in race room as a whole, actually. Well, actually, that's a lie, but it is one of the few uh, unique cars. The Zonda R Cup um, originally was a GTX class car, my favorite category before they got rid of it because it was not realistic or whatever. Um, but that'll be Sunday, May 9th. Look forward to that same format, two races at Nordschleife. As we stand. Josiah Jerome, first place with 50 points. Dennis Johnson in second with 42. And Richard DeRoche in third with 40. So their uh, their efforts were all for not for not. They, they, they were somewhat productive. Shame they couldn't get first. Anyhow, that is our Sunday in Chill Series. Hope to see you again next time. We are ESR. Join us. ESR-race.org. Twitch.tv forward slash ESR. Nice. Underscore one. What? No, nothing. I was just saying nice that you got it right. Yeah, exactly. Um, and yeah, visit us there. We have all sorts of series, including this one. We have every skill level you could possibly imagine. So like, subscribe. Just uh, come to one of our races. We love you. Well, I love you. Matt, do you love the audience? Of course I love the audience. Okay, just had to make sure. You know, it never hurts to be open. Okay, see you then. Have a good one until then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.